So another thing that you guys do, <clears throat> you guys talk about not just the fitness and the, the, not just the working out part of it. You guys talk about food. You've got some uh, people that are trained in nutrition on, on your staff. You guys talk about if there's a need for supplements or anything like that. Kind of speak to the other than the, the working out part of what you guys do. Well, today's Friday, Friday, and we do the first Friday, yay, yeah. first Friday of every month. Right. We sit down one-on-one -on -one with each of our members that sign up for Friday. So we have from 5.15 a.m. all the way to oh, wow. 6.30 a.m., 15-minute time slots, and we're going to meet with you and set a goal for the month. You know how it is. Gotcha. You walk in some place, and you're like, I'm going to lose 30 pounds, and it's so big and audacious and super scary. Right. When you come to Iron Tribe, we're going to say, you know what, let's work on your nutrition this month. Keep a food journal for two days. We're gonna track this. We're gonna tell you what tweaks to make. Mm -hmm. So we do that not just once, once a month we do gotcha. that for our members. So that accountability yeah. is so critical. And then if you're a perform athlete or you've been at the gym for a couple of years, we're gonna recommend supplements to take your performance to the next level. Right. We always want you to be oh, for sure. leveling up, not according to others, but leveling up on yourself, right? right? So Matt, you brought it up about the new, and I say the new, the word of the year, the word of the day is busy. Everyone's busy from the mom to the executive. Everybody's got so many places to go. Talk about the class times that you guys offer, whether it be any of the four classes that you guys offer. What are the time slots throughout the day that someone can pop in and um, come to one of your classes? Yeah, so, I mean, we just think about the busy parts or the breaks in people's day. Well, the breaks in people's day is going to be early in the morning. Um, so there's three, at most gyms, um, there's three to five classes offered in the morning starting at 5.15 a.m. Okay. Guess what? Most people don't have anything going on no. at 5.15 no. a.m. So there's this many excuses for that. <laughs> um, but that's their uh, high volume parts of the day, right? Nobody's working at that point. You maybe drop off your kids before or after. Right. If you drop off your kids, go to the gym after to an 8.30 or 9.30 class if you're a mom. Um, you can go before if you're, working, if you're a working dad. And then you get people got lunch breaks. So they take mm -hmm. that. The good thing is everybody gets an hour lunch break. If you're close to the gym, pop in for 45 minutes, get back here, take a quick shower, and you're back within an hour. Gotcha. Um, so so you guys have showers at all your places? Showers at all the places. That's awesome. Towels, toiletries, anything that you need to perfect. get perfect and primmed for your there job. You <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, when you get off work, come see us at the gym. Uh, most classes start around 4 o'clock. So okay. you've got a little off a little bit early, and then the last one's around 6.15. So there's a wide, wide range of cost when it comes to fitness. You've yeah. got some gyms that are they advertise 10 bucks a month. Well, you get what you pay for, sure. you know, and so you do. You get a key that you can go in and work out or whatever. Um, but then you've got four and five and $600 a month as well. I mean, you've got people that are paying hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of dollars for their fitness. And then you got people that are paying $10 a month for their fitness. You guys are kind of somewhere there in between, but from an expense, but why is it not $10 a month? But why, why is it a little bit more expensive than the, than the global gym that's down the road? Sure. So people that are really wanting a change in their lifestyle or people that are serious about fitness, you're going to see them kind of being nickel and dime. So if you're paying for a gym membership, you're probably going to be paying for personal training. You're going to be paying for programming. You're going to be going to the supplement store and yeah. buying supplements. Then you're going to have to go get your protein. So there's all these different avenues that are not just under that one price tag, right? For that sure. $10 a month. When you come to my gym, you're going to get the programming. You're going to get the one-on-one -on -one attention that you would get in a training session as mm -hmm. closely as you can. You're gonna have the supplements and nutrition. All of that is gonna be rolled into this this price right. ticket, right? So you're not being nickeled and dimed to death. It's a one-stop shop. Right. One of the things too that is priceless is this is a day and age of the Peloton bike where people can stay at home and get their workout in or they can go run by themselves and put their earphones in and do whatever. But here's the thing, everyone in their heart desires relationship and community. We're, we're people, of course we're they We're people, do. Yeah. we have to have it. That's why solitary confinement is so bad. <laughs> That's why they do yeah. it in prison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things you're, you, you are getting at an Iron Tribe gym is the community. Um, so speak about that just for a second as far as all the different people who's coming in together. And that's one of the things that you're probably not gonna get for 10 or 15 or 20 bucks a month. No, absolutely not. Do you wanna take well, it? Well, yeah, I mean, I would just think one of Iron Tribe's obviously core values is build lasting relationships. Yeah. Um, 
and that's a core value of of the company and i think that's done in two ways i think that's done with athlete to athlete or member to member as in where were you i haven't seen you in, i haven't seen you yeah. in a couple of days well that has an effect when your peer is kind of calling you out right. but then i also think that the coaches actually love people and actually love fitness and if you don't like both of them then you can't be a coach in iron tribe because how many times i've gone my wife and i have gone out to dinner with members at the gym or I have sit down and coffee I and whatever it's beyond it's outside the scope of they're my coach and I'm the athlete and I see them for 45 minutes and then that's it right Right. from a coaching perspective or the people that are running the gym each each Iron Tribe gym has four full-time coaches so let's speak to that a little bit yep so one of the best things about Iron Tribe I've been in the around the fitness industry block if you will um, Iron Tribe has four salaried coaches. They're there full time, that is their job. Right. They are fully invested in the company. And you can't just beep up into Iron Tribe and say, hey, I passed this online certification, I'm ready to be a coach. They have, <laughs> Sign me up. yes, they have degrees, <laughs> master's degrees. Three of my coaches are working on their master's, another one's getting ready to go and, and get his master's. So four coaches with master's degrees are watching you at all times. It's completely different right. than walking into a, a gym and saying, hey, I just got my personal training certification, you want a session? Yeah. So there's there's a big difference there. Um, and with that full-time coaching investment, they're really able to pour into those athletes, right? Yeah. They're, they're involved in you, they want to see you succeed. So that is such a critical difference maker in what makes Iron Tribe, Iron Tribe versus any other like kind gym. Right. So another thing that I think that you guys do also is there's a content and everybody out there's got continuing education. It's a box you got to check so that you can get your start. Yeah. I mean, so, but your continuing education is not like the teacher that goes to a seminar on, you know, how to, you know, how pencil erasers work or something like that. <laughs> you guys have continuing education that you have to pass, that you have to go to in order to continue coaching at Iron Tribe. So let's talk about that. Correct, to even start your job, you have to go through the Coach 101 or how you are how Iron Tribe onboards the coaches. And you have to pass that. I yeah. mean, it's not like it's just, ah, you did a pretty good job, you get to pass. But then you also get rewarded in two ways. They pay for some of your continued education. So once you do get a certification, well, they want you to keep it, and they right. want you to keep learning toward that certification. And then another way, you get a higher salary if you get another That's certification. Good. So they're rewarding you in like and understanding that as they invest in a coach, that it's going to invest in their members, and the members going to have a better experience, and there's going to be higher accountability, and their gym is going to grow to impact more lives. So it all kind of they understand the kind of the food chain in investing in good. <laughs>